minutes or less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm IT Explosive One. This is 10 minutes or less. Hell yeah. Sorry, man. Start it do, 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 do. Start it. TNT. You said you had something about Chick fil A. Okay, so Jonas, you didn't hear about what happened at Chick fil A, huh? No. I mean, Apparent... I know that they, they don't mm-hmm. like a lot of people. <laughs> it's nothing of that nature. Oh. It, 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 I mean, eh, you think, take it, take it as you will. Mm-hmm. So Chick Fil A had a promotion at a certain Chick Fil A. Um, I can't remember. I think it was Louisiana. I'm not sure. Um, where they would have people come in and work for one hour during the lunch rush, but instead of paying them money, they would pay them with five free entrees. Oh, like just sandwiches or whole combos? I don't know. <laughs> but I'm going to say combos. Okay. We'll say, I mean, but here's the thing. If they even they got five sandwiches, those sandwiches are like any more with inflation. They're probably like $5. So that's $25 <laughs> worth of food. Probably more than that at Chick-fil-A. At Chick-fil-A, I think their premium sandwiches are probably about 7 bucks. Yeah, so it's, so, you know, like, and that's, I mean, they're good. I don't know how you feel about Chick-fil-A sandwiches. I think they're wonderful. Like, they're really good chicken sandwiches. Um, I don't, I don't eat Chick Fil A, Jonas. I don't, I don't agree with their uh, morals. Some of the, yeah, they they put a little too much uh, church in their state, you know. If you got, yeah, you know yeah. Saying. I mean those 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 hate bur- those hate chicken sandwiches, dude. They're, I mean, they're made <laughs> with hate. I just, but... I, I don't support anybody that puts put all, put so much church in their state. Let's just put it yeah. that way. Yeah, that's fair. But but I mean, like, so then if they're getting combos, you're talking to combos at least ten dollars. Mm-hmm. So if, if one hour for fifty dollars worth of food, that's what like, I'm saying. Yeah, so, man. If I was a single mom and like I had like five kids and like I was we didn't have any money, I'd spend okay. one hour to go get, feed them for the rest of the damn day. Okay. So now you're now now that you're hearing it with fresh ears, you need to know that there was a lot of backlash online. Of course, people on Twitter were taken to the Twitterverse and typing, 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 typing. And, people got a and, lot to say about a lot of stuff, man. They're and they were hard. like, this is degrading and I can't believe you would do this and why would you do this? And I'm like, yo, that's actually a good deal. It seemed fine to me. I mean, it's not like they made them do it. They they offered and people showed up. Yeah. If they gave I mean, them 20 I, bucks, they, they stopped, might they go stopped. buy crack with it. <laughs> that's true too now they did stop the promotion after the backlash and and so i mean i get it i can kind of see you got people working for chicken it sounds a little it sounds kind of wild it sounds I mean, kind of wild has, when you put it like people working for chicken that sounds wild i guess thank you okay it does kind of sound wild. how much chicken you make per hour <laughs> <laughs> Because if you think about it, about cost price, not retail price, they're getting scammed. Because they're, exactly. they're only making about two dollars worth of fucking chicken. And and that's the thing is that the company knows that too, and that's mm-hmm. why. So, I mean, so I mean, that's basically that's it. Basically, it. So I'm glad that you took it as this is a good deal, and I kind of agree. Would I do it? I I don't know. If I was hungry, I would. <laughs> How hungry? Like, like I haven't eaten all day hungry? I'm like, I got Both an hour lunch present? at work. I might as well work an hour at Chick-fil-A. Yo, you go for a whole week. <laughs> Put it in the refrigerator? No. I think they would have been better off to give them like a $10 Chick-fil-A gift card or something. So they could come back yeah. and buy what they wanted when they wanted oh, it. See, and that, it wouldn't have been yeah. as no, degrading. Yeah. So, but uh, right. I, guess, I guess I'll caveat into this since it's completely sure. unrelated. Go I ahead. saw an article... Uh, there was a 99-year-old lady in Mexico, Caterina Orduña Perez, had one final wish for her, uh, I guess it isn't like a tomb, like a mausoleum, I guess, because it's not the tombstone. She, her family unveiled a completed monument of five and a half foot tall cock and balls weighing nearly 600 pounds. There's a picture. It is a giant, a big it. giant pink penis and balls. I saw this, it. it. It's a 90 year old lady. What it like? She got a sense of humor, man. Like <laughs> either she got a sense of humor or grandma was a wild girl. I don't know. <laughs> She's like, I just want everyone to remember me for what I did. In my hey. Life. Hey, I'm just saying, hey, look, man, if a dude said that he wanted, I want my tombstone to look like a giant, a giant labia, just like beef tips hanging out. Yeah, why would, yeah, I guess it would be a lot more crude, huh? 
Hey, you said it, not me. <laughs> but that yeah, would be crazy. Like, and people would be like, ew, what a degenerate. They'd be like, ew. <laughs> What, that's what gross a, what a and creepy. Heathen that man must be. That's, yeah, that's gross and creepy. I want my two well, guess what? Grandma's gross and yeah. creepy too. She's gross and creepy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I guess, I guess it didn't really say where she was coming from with that. Like, like whether it was a joke or like <laughs> no pun coming, intended. Where she was coming from with that man? That's yeah, no funny. pun intended. Uh, yeah, right. But like, how? I don't like, know, yeah, man. was she like, ha ha, this will be funny? Or she's like, I just love, I love penis. I don't know, like, what is she? I don't even know if, like I said, if a dude asked for the same thing, he asked for a giant vulva on his tombstone. I don't know if I'm going to be asking, like, where are you coming at with this, man? Like, is this ha ha funny? Or are you just going to be like, dude, you're weird. Grandma, yeah. you're weird. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know, Jonas. I say get whatever you want on your tombstone, but don't put it in the paper. I like pepperoni <laughs> and bacon on my tombstone. Hey, hey. But I, that... <laughs> <laughs> Remember so those funny. old commercials? That, that shit was I funny. Do. What do you but, want uh, on your tombstone? <laughs> pepperoni and sausage, and there's like, whoa! <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, I don't know. I uh, I haven't been to a lot of cemeteries, um, but everything's pretty plain in there. I, I used to frequent. Uh, what was the cemetery in Ashtabula? The one, the on, one that was at the one on State Road. Right by, in between, over by, uh, over by Todd's old house? No. It was the one where, like, you would go where, like, the Circle K was, over by where, kind of close oh, to where I used to live. Oh, Carpenter Road. And then it was, like, at the end of the street. I used to yeah. go to that, I used to go to that one because, uh, Fred Wayne used to stay down that street, and I would go down there, and we would go sword fight in the, in the cemetery. <laughs> oh, okay. And I remember one time, uh, somebody called the police on us, because, uh, it's Ashton Beulah. So of course they said, "Oh, there was there was two uh two white people and a black man. They went up to the to the cemetery with swords and sheets, and the cops thought they said sheets and not sheaths. Oh, uh, and sh oh, so swords they thought there was some sort of like lynching going on. Like they... I, I mean, I guess so. I mean, I can swords handle myself if that sheets. was happened. Swords and sheets. I don't know why you would even mention the sheaths." Like yeah. swords in cheese? Like I don't I don't know. Yeah. Is that but what the, the cops, cops said? They showed up and they said, We thought they said there were sheets. And you're like, yeah. no, no, cheese. And we were just be... <laughs> We were just up there like doing Highlander stuff. It was so Yeah, you guys are cool. <laughs> there was lots of girls there too, huh? Good, good there was good, there was good. one there was one girl, thank you. But uh that reminds me of when uh there was this uh, Mexican restaurant that uh me and my uh, buddy <laughs> in Ohio used to go and get uh chips and queso there because it was mm -hmm. freaking good. And uh, I called on the phone one time and ordered uh, chips and queso with extra cheese. And we showed up, and the dude gave us two giant bags of chips and, like, the same amount of cheese. And, like, I, the only thing I can think of is that he thought I said chips. And he thought that the, that's – so I thought I was saying cheeps because, like – Every other time we had to order it with queso it, to get extra queso because he was like, I want extra chips or extra cheese. And we, when we showed up, and I was like – Dude, he gave us two giant bags of chips and the same amount of cheese. And he was like, Dude. he had to think you said cheeps. Like, that was the only thing I could think. We had no idea because every time cheeps. we were queso afterwards and we got it fine. Extra cheeps. Did, did, you, <laughs> did, you, did, you, did, you, did you turn around and get your cheese? No, we just, we just let it go. But, like, wow. it was like, dude, and it was like, he, we were like, well, kudos. You gave us so many freaking extra chips. It's ridiculous. Like, like two full ass bags, and we have like this much queso. I was like, "Well, are are you the guy who, if something's not right with the food, that you'll take it back, uh, or are you more like I'll just let it slide? If I catch it at the window, I'll let him know and have him fix it. What if you get out to the car, you sit down, you check the bag? If I if I have not left the premises, yes." Okay. Uh, but if I like get all the way home and stuff, like I'm not you're not gonna, gonna call. You're not gonna call the number. I have and... called in the past when they messed up everything. It depends too. Like, did we order a bunch of stuff and one thing's wrong or you're missing one thing, whatever. But if you get home and like nothing is right, you're like, bro, I just spent sixty effing dollars at your restaurant. You didn't get anything correct? I feel like everybody knows that Taco Bell that they cannot go to because they fucked the order up every single time. Yeah, and like, 
I, I'm, I'm lucky. I know when, this one. When I do Taco Bell stuff, I'm all basically I just get no lettuce, and it's really easy to not put lettuce on something, right? But I'm not the guy who's like extra tomatoes, no onions, add guac. Like you can't. No, you can't make the order Taco Bell. I mean, I get if it's not a Taco Bell, it's a McDonald's. It's somewhere that you've been where they mess your order up every single time that you. No, oh, no, Taco Bell does mess it up. Still, I can't. Okay. Tell you, I've got to the window. <laughs> right, well, I, I'll be like, I order like, can I get two soft tacos and no lettuce? I go up and I'm like, these have lettuce, and they're like, yeah. oh, huh. <laughs> like, there's what? nobody who can't relate to this, man. There's some place that you've gone to eat where they mess your order up every single time, and yet you you keep going back. You always go back to the place. Yeah, you can't yeah, help for yourself, sure, man. It's uh. And I and I and I don't know what it is because like I I worked at Wendy's, and like it literally is e- Wendy's is made to order, so it's easier to make it as it's on the screen than it is to make it the right way. Like because it would be like Junior Bacon Cheeseburger, no tomato, like this freaking big under Junior Bacon Cheeseburger, and it's like it's more effort to put the tomato on the sandwich than it is to leave it <laughs> off. You know, you get on <laughs> autopilot, man. You get on autopilot. Yeah, you do. But anyways, that's all the time we got for today's episode. Go to thecrazytown.com and subscribe. For Jonas. Yeah, uh, We out.